Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault. Welcome to a surprise update video about the new Pulsar F250. Now it gets an updated color scheme in blue. The signature blue color that Bajaj has always been offering uh, in their 180s and 200s and even the 220. And this one is slightly more sportier and flashier and looks absolutely stunning kind of elevates the overall design silhouette of the f250 so let me quickly give you an overview i've already done a detailed first ride review top speed test track review and normal road ride review city road city ride review back in pune in chakran so today it will be just an update and an overview and a quick city ride on my way back to the showroom so thanks to select bajaj for giving me this opportunity to feature this bike for you guys for best offers contact select bajaj uh, and uh, for now let's get started with the update walk around feature of the f250 blue color variant So guys, this is the Pulsar F250 blue color variant. What do you guys think about this? Now, as I told you, I've already done a detailed uh, first ride top speed run video. It has some stickering decals as well. So this uh, is the new color scheme that have that they have launched. Quickly uh, kind of giving you a, a run through of the specs and the features that the F250 has on offer. This is the most powerful, uh, biggest capacity Pulsar that Bajaj have uh, produced to date and it is here to replace the 220 now that is uh, kind of becoming an official uh, uh, news or official thing that uh, eventually over a period of time this is here to replace the 220 and i think the 220 was coming of age it required a comprehensive makeover and i think the f250 if you look at it it is significantly better in every aspect be it the build quality the fit and finish the features the specs it is uh, a proper upgrade that the 220F, though it was a legendary bike, it always deserved. As you can see, front you have the bi-functional LED uh, that offers the uh, high beam as well as the low beam and has LED DRLs and LED lighting all around. So it puts lesser uh, load on the battery, better battery life, better light throw, consistent light throw and uh, LED turn indicators. Here you have this dual layer kind of uh, design uh, which is made of higher uh, grade uh, plastic to offer better life better build quality when compared to uh, the 220 and then of course you have single channel abs which means abs is operational on the front wheel but a larger 300 mm uh, disc up front and i think a 230 mm disc at the back but uh, 300 mm disc up front really makes a world of difference offers superb uh, bite and feedback when compared to the uh, 220F and of course you also have the 37mm uh, telescopic folks up front to offer plush ride quality at the back the Nitrox twin shock absorbers make way for the mono shock which offers better handling better mass centralization and uh, superb balance and flick flickability and maneuverability while riding through the city traffic then coming to the design part you can see uh, the way uh, things uh, the front cowl or the front uh, fairing has been molded it is feels seamless better air sorted aerodynamics and 14 liter tank to offer su superb tank range good enough tank range for those who would like to take this bike out for touring the engine cowl looks of better quality again you have this dual layer kind of effect over here uh, power plant is the 250 cc all new single cylinder and SOHC layout uh, two valve engine fuel injected engine that uh, puts out 24.5 PS of max power and 21.5 Newton meters of max torque five speed gearbox so this is, comes with the uh, tried and tested twin spark technology that offers a perfect blend of power and economy that's been the hallmark and this uh, highlight and major strength for uh, pulses to 
you know come across as a force to reckon with because they have the superb pickup and superb acceleration combined with the economy that uh, we indians come looking for so that is the highlight of the uh, uh, 250F as well, very refined, fine-tuned to the max and very responsive. Then of course the ergonomics, seats are of super premium quality, uh, superior quality foam, spacious seat, superb space for the rider, adequate space for the pillion, neatly laid out uh, pillion grab handles which are practically usable, LED turn indicators as I told you and LED uh, tail lamp, the twin strip headlamp gets a new layout, new design which is going to be a kind of a hallmark element for another decade to come, I believe. Then MRF Nilo Grip tires, 130 section rear tire to offer again a perfect blend of uh, a good uh, amount of road grip and not, you know, eating into the fuel economy part. The alloys are made up of lightweight material and of premium quality. Uh, even the chassis is lighter when compared to that of other pulsers that we've seen before. So overall lightweight, compact, rigid and uh, rock solid in terms of high speed stability which i've already tested across the chakan track and then dual port exhaust to offer that uh, proper sporty signature pulsar exhaust note that we come looking for then you have the pulsar f250 badging right here Ta uh, the tail panel also tail section and the rear panel also get this dual layer kind of effect and uh, yeah it bit not in your face too much of uh, graphics here just a subtle graphic running across the bodywork to enhance the overall visual appeal of the bike overall it looks pretty much eye candy in this blue color the front fairing is slightly tinted to offer that sporty look and you can see the face looks nice and sporty and modern and apart from this you also have uh, the infinity speedo console because it comes without any bezels which i've already highlighted before during the walk around and you, uh, they've retained the tachometer in the old school style with the needle climbing up as you rev the hell out of this machine this this is a rev happy machine at the end of it all fuel injection on board so seamless throttle response refined throttle response cons consistent and instant throttle response pulsar trademark backlit switches which again uh, have good feedback and tactile feedback and then of course you have the gear position indicator the speedo taco time odometer and all the other relevant info these are the trip meters you have distance to empty here now another important point is the assistance slipper clutch which is again uh, makes this supreme value for 1.4 lakhs it offers 300 mm front disc slipper clutch and uh, <coughs> best in class uh, power and pickup and uh, refinement with uh, improved NVH levels and supreme build quality and in this blue color it looks absolutely stunning and the slipper clutch we all know uh, offers for a lighter clutch pull and also uh, works as a back torque limiter and anti hopping uh, clutch which means it prevents the rear wheel from locking and hopping uh, while doing faster downshifts. So that is a quick overview. LED lighting, refinement, good equipment, good features, shock absorbers are great, brakes are better, every aspect this screams better value and better build quality and uh, a better package when compared to the 220F which was coming of age and was desperately uh, you know looking for an upgrade and this blue color I believe is here to again get better reception and when compared to the gray color and the red color this one is the best looking one is what i feel what do you guys think which color is your favorite feel free to comment below and let me know also i would prefer a matte black color in this one so let's hope bajaj hears our prayers and wishes and let's hope they offer a matte black color scheme uh, for this one as well as the n250 because especially this one i've pretty damn sure in matte black full carbon matte black it's going to look absolutely stunning and super stealthy so this was a quick overview the prices start from around 1.40 lakhs for the f250 x showroom and 1.38 or 39 for the 
N250 but this is the new color for the F250 if you like what you see please do hit the like and share and subscribe button stay tuned for more action and on the way back let me give you a quick fire motor vlog talking about its riding uh, dynamics and the ride impression through the city streets okay guys so now that i've given you a quick overview let's quickly do a city ride and let's see how it feels to ride i was seriously impressed when i first got the opportunity to ride this at the chakan plant gear shifts are very smooth so these are all internal roads so may not worry and there's the main road so it rides pretty smooth refined most refined of them all for sure accelerates really really well suspension is very plush even over this uh, broken roads wow brakes are also brilliant the feedback from the 300mm front disc is very very satisfying So overall seat comfort is really good engine refinement is great suspension is really really good and the braking is best in class so overall still continues to be a perfect upgrade and which is superior to the 220 F in every which way <coughs> if you look at the ride feel and the ride quality that this bike has on offer so that's pretty much it Hope you enjoyed this quick update review of the Pulsar F250 blue color variant. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. God bless and ride safe.